Welcome to an introductory lesson on reading comprehension questions. Reading comprehension is the only question type that appears on all major standardized tests, and for good reason. No matter what academic discipline you pursue, you'll have to make sense of dense, complex written material. In this lesson, we'll examine some basic features of reading comprehension questions, some common myths associated with these questions, and the skills that these questions test. To begin, about one-third of the questions in the verbal section of the GRE will be reading comprehension questions. The GRE includes about eight reading passages, each of which is followed by one to six questions that relate to the passage. For each reading comprehension question, a passage appears on the left-hand side of the screen and a related question appears on the right-hand side of the screen. Your task is to choose the best answer to each question based on what is stated or implied in the reading passage. Please note that if the passage is too long to fit on the screen, a scroll bar will allow you to scroll the text up and down. You'll only see one question at a time. Typically, you see one to two questions for a short reading passage and three to four questions for a longer passage. Some passages are short, perhaps only 12 lines long, and other passages are quite long with over 50 lines of text to read and process. With respect to content, the passages typically discuss topics from four disciplines, social sciences, biological sciences, physical sciences, and the arts and humanities. The good news, wait, the great news is that there's no prior knowledge of the material required. All of the information required to answer the questions can be found in the passage. There are two common myths about reading comprehension questions that can cause students to develop ineffective test writing strategies. The first myth is that reading comprehension questions are designed to test your ability to read quickly. This is not true. Students who believe that this is a speed reading test make the mistake of reading each passage at a lightning pace. In fact, they read so quickly that they fail to comprehend much, if any, of the information. As a result, they cannot answer any questions and are then forced to reread the passage. As you can see, there's some irony in this belief because it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you're forced to reread the same passage several times, you need to do so quickly, in which case this actually becomes a speed reading test. As you'll see later in this module, I'll encourage you to read the passages at a relaxed pace. The second myth is that reading comprehension questions test your ability to memorize minute details within the passage. This is also not true. Students who believe this myth make the mistake of trying to memorize or record too many facts. This not only wastes precious time, but it also prevents you from seeing the bigger picture conveyed in the passage. As you might guess, it would be unreasonable to test students on their speed reading skills or their memory, since these skills have little bearing on one's ability to perform well in a graduate program. So, if reading comprehension questions are not designed to test speed reading skills and memory, what are they testing? Well, to begin, reading comprehension questions are designed to test your ability to understand written English. This does not mean that you'll be asked to define specific words and terms. Instead, you'll be asked questions that test your understanding of the overall meaning of a passage. Reading comprehension questions also test your ability to see the logical relationships between facts and concepts. For example, you may be asked to evaluate the relative importance of certain premises within a passage. Finally, reading comprehension questions test your ability to draw inferences. In other words, you must be able to determine what conclusions can be drawn from the information presented in the passage. This is all pretty reasonable stuff. For students to perform well in a graduate program, they should be able to understand written English, to see the relationship between facts and concepts, and they should be able to draw inferences based on what they've read. So given all of this, 
What's the best way to prepare for reading comprehension questions? We'll explore that in the rest of the reading comprehension modules.